I've never heard of a that will revert. It's crazy. Because it has our thinking is make it almost modular. Yeah. Like. What up? Welcome to a windy day at the port. Today's the day, guys. Today's the day that we pick up the Hudson Mirror walkthrough. And I'm going to edge myself the entire time. And I'm going to go look at it absolutely last. I can see it's right there. But after waiting for it for a couple months, I'm honestly in no rush to see it. I didn't even get to see it in Japan. So let's walk around, check out some cool cars that are here. I feel like it's been forever since I made a port video. So if you're watching right now, subscribe to the channel. This is pretty cool. This actually came from Japan. What does this say? Okay. This is cool. Shout out to whoever bought this. If you're watching this video right now, Chick Killer. Wow. Wow, this car is sick. We got some Skylines, some Land Cruisers. Oh, wow. Shout out to, uh, what's his face? Tiki Bunny. Your car got here quick, bruh. Okay, okay. I went from never seeing these ever to seeing one in Japan and now seeing one here at the port. I would love to know who owns this car. I really got to start buying stickers and leaving them in people's cars, like in their glove box, saying like, K's away, I love your car. Subscribe to the channel. I think it'd be a good marketing tactic along with just showing love. We got one of these, super clean. We got a sandbar by itself, four door skyline. Oh wow, look at this. This I think is an English plate or somewhere from Europe. Off a of Civic, which is nice. Stick shift, clean. Some more European cars. Nice Accord, Bruno. Wow, it's locked. I didn't even see this. Godzilla in the flesh. tri spokes on the automatic S15. Nissan President, four-door Type R. Shout out to all my Honda fanboys. That's super clean. We got a silver samurai. I mean, sandbar. Oh, this, I'm not even gonna try to open it. Automatic, sadly. Guys, I'm not even gonna say it actually. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Do what you want with your money. I've said it enough times, you know? We got a carry. Corsa. I had a 2001 Corolla for. Probably the longest I've ever owned a car, maybe like four or five years. So seeing these are kind of cool. I know it's not a Corolla, but it's like a kind of looks the same inside. You got a carry S2000, high jet. Shout out to Tom. Shout out to these two cars. We're not gonna look at them just yet. But all right, we got a Bravo. We got this Wagon R. This thing probably sounds sick. Over fenders. TRD steering wheel, power windows. Oh wow, it has four doors. Is this a wide? No, nah, it's not a wide. Is it? No, I don't think so. I don't know if I've seen a wagon R with four doors before. We got a cool Jimny. This is the older model. These come with some baller seats that say turbo on them and then the fog lights are in the grill. Yeah, give me a second, give me a second. Another sandbar, David's moving cars. I'm still edging myself to look at that car, not yet. We're gonna go look at it in a second though. There's not that many cars left. We got the Z, we got a Skyline, we got a S15 on RPF1s. A lot of sandbars here. I really hope this video isn't too windy either, but this is cool. Twin cam high jet, two Acties. And I guess, you can start it, you can start it. No, it's yours. No, 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 you can start it, you can start it, you can start it. I don't know if I'm ready for this yet. Are you sure? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Moment of truth right now. Imagine it doesn't start. Does it have two keys? Oh. Are you sure? 
There you go. Okay. It starts. We got one key. You just have to flip it the right way. It doesn't work one side. That's interesting. Does this work too? Nope. Oh. All right. It looks like a little kitchen. This is the moment I've all been, like, everyone has been waiting for this right here. party bus before. It had this to is be. like so club vibes in here. Look at this speaker. Let's open this. Wait till David. You're good. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the Wait for the Fame Club. I wonder where this once was. It makes more sense if it was like this. Yeah, it does. You had to pay extra for them to put these on because it was like, uh, it was just thrown on the floor. He was like, do you want them? And I was like, I don't want them, but I also don't want them on the garbage. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, what my plan is to do with it is it's technically a one-seater right now, so we have to change that just because like one-seaters aren't that cool. Damn, I really hope that mirror's not broken right there. Nope. Okay, good, yeah. Valid. Yeah, so I got to put that on over there. But yeah, I want to take the where the oh. second seat would go. Oh, nice. Is right here. Oh, I can't even see it. Would we go here? These? Yes, I do. The moment we've all been. I don't even know where that once was. Customs. Tri spokes coming soon. My hood is popped. I wonder if my battery was dead. As you can see, it has the Miragino kit, and that's how the fenders look. It's kind of sketchy. New battery though. Four cylinder. New plugs, wires, and everything else. First time driving the As of right now, honestly, my honest opinion. What's your honest opinion first? This is sick. What is your honest opinion? But is it I'm, worth? Is it worth? I think all the worth it is in the drive. Yeah, we're gonna find if out. If it's not fast and it's underwhelming and it's not worth the fact that it was turbo swap and transmission swap, then that's it. But as far as the way it looks, it looks amazing. Yeah. But like, we're not buying it for the looks. We're yeah. Buying it because it does this, which doesn't even do it. it doesn't even no, we need it. We need to right. adjust that blow valve or put a new it. one in there. If you guys remember, I bought a $600 dash for this car. And at first, I mean, I haven't installed it yet, but at first I was like, that's a big waste of money. But now looking at this one, yeah, I think the white dash is extremely cheesy. Damn, I wanted him to come back so we could race. But yeah, I'm excited for the car though, honestly. We're definitely going to learn more about it. This is not the end of the video. This uh, TRXX seat is okay too. I would love a Recaro. Like I said, this is really going to be my forever K. So... This Nardi, not a big fan of. I know I could definitely sell this and make some money. So I'm gonna swap this over for maybe that black steering wheel I have at home. Definitely gotta add a WBTF horn. Speaking of horn, I think after I swap over the dash, I would love to wire the horn back to here because in case of an emergency, I don't think my mind is gonna be to grab that. I think I also wanna find one of these in black or just paint it black myself. There's a lot of things in here that in my opinion are cheesy. I don't know how crazy I wanna go. Like I said, I'm into this car like $12,000 right now. And I don't really want to change the color scheme, but I'm just not a fan of white. So do I really want to swap over my headliner to black? I don't know. I think I'm going to wait for the comments to, to help me out, I guess. Like even things like this, like I'd rather that be black. I'd rather a lot of stuff be black. But at the same time, the car is blue and white. Like I'm not going to paint that black. I mean, I could, I guess. I'm not going to paint that black. Everything white, essentially. I don't think that I'll be changing to black, but... If it's my forever, K. Okay? Even the stripe, if I'm being honest. I'm not really crazy about it. Oh, wow, it's wrapped. I could take that off. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hopefully it looks good under there. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm waiting for... Oh, David just got here. I'm waiting to race David. I'm about to blow him out of the water. I'm, the car's automatic, so I'm going to hold the camera while driving and just completely dust him. I accelerated up this block, and this thing is quick. So the thing that we've wanted the most is here. It's turbo, it's quick, it drives good. I did so much maintenance on it, so it better. I think I almost want to give you a head start too. That's how disrespectful it is. How many seconds should we give him? I went 
Hopefully it's a neutral by accident. But yeah, the mirror's fast. Wow. It's not, it doesn't feel like a cake. Yeah, you hear it a little bit. It just doesn't have the balls, you know? Like it needs an air intake, it needs a blow valve, an exhaust would be sick. Wow. Still going. <laughs> oh man, this thing is sick. You know what's cool? What? Like because this is white, it's always light in here. It's not dark. Oh yeah, it's getting swapped out though, remember? Yeah, yeah. I got that six hundred dollar dash that I have to put in. It's sick. No, I definitely like it a lot. Think worthy of, of, of what you spent? Uh, as of right now, no. But once you're done with it, I just gotta get it more, you know. As of right now, no. But like when I drive it on the highway this hour to change home, and I'm going maybe a hundred, a hundred plus kilometers, and yeah, after I put a blow valve, then yeah, after I put an intake, yeah, after I put an exhaust, I don't even have a radio. I don't even have, in the back? I don't have a radio. I don't think I have speakers back here, so it's definitely missing. I want to take this off too and see if I can put that seat there. Um, I might this leave. This is sick, though. This is like I thought it was worse than what it is, but it's sick. But how would I get a seat though? I need is two seats. No, maybe you chop it so you could still have the seat, but then still have that back there. Yeah. I don't know. I think it looks like. I think it looks sick. This too, I gotta figure out. This is the only thing that's missing on my mirror. Hi, who are you? Can I take your order, please? I would like some ramen, please. Extra spicy. Like, this is exactly what I want. I don't know if I really care about this so much, but this. Oh, this is sick. Like, I don't know if I picture, want to. Picture this being gone. Yeah. Imagine just being a road trip camper vehicle and this is just a map and you just put pins yeah. everywhere you've gone. Could be sick. This Look, too. It had for the seat. Oh, nice. Yeah, I gotta really figure out a seat in mine. Like, I really do. Update on the mirror throttle cable snapped. Uh, maybe 10 blocks from the port. To be fair, do you have that piece? Oh no. I don't even know where it went. It fell on the ground oh. somewhere. Oh. To be fair, this is swapped. So when they swapped it over, the intake was probably further this way. And this cable is only meant for the other intake. So they put this, basically a piece of wire on the end of this cable to hold it in place of the extra, probably inch or two that it needed. So a couple zip ties and yeah. Should hopefully be on your way. Yeah, hopefully I can make it home. Well, you look legit if you break down on the side of the yeah, road. Yeah, at least I have the right outfit for someone that breaks down on the side of the road. But So we're back driving. I'm trying not to put my foot on full throttle. That way the throttle cable doesn't have to extend too much. But I've been driving it for about 20 minutes and it can comfortably do 60 miles per hour, which was the biggest flaw on my naturally aspirated and the regular that had some mirrors. There's a lot of things that need to change. I know I've been talking about that over and over, but first and foremost, we gotta figure out the throttle cable. The last thing I need is to be driving on a bridge like this one, and then it just snaps and I'm over, I'm over here stranded. So I'm gonna look into doing that. I really wanna swap over the steering wheel. I think literally once I get home, I'm going to mock up the tri-spokes, the teddy bear ones. That's the ones I'm gonna go on this car. And then I wanna put the HKS blow valve, but stay tuned for the build, stay tuned for the build. We actually might have two builds at once. I think I'm gonna trade that uh, cappuccino with Josh and I'm getting the blue van. But I update you guys once I get home. I just wanna make sure we get there safe and sound so I'm not gonna push it too much. We made it to the way for the fame garage. Now that we safely made it here in one piece, Let's talk about the Hats of Mirror walkthrough. So my first impressions, now that I had the car for like an hour, it's really nice, right? Me and David were talking about both our mirrors. His has some imperfections, mine has some imperfections. And he was asking me if I regret buying it. I don't regret buying it because at the end of the day, the reason I got this one, the reason I sold my very, very clean white one was because this one was turbo swap, turbo and transmission swap. 
that was the real kicker i could find another mirror i could buy like david's brown one i can get any mirror i've seen so many mirrors but to be honest finding one that's four speed and turbo swapped is very very difficult with that being said there's a lot of things here that honestly i don't know if this is supposed to be connected is this not supposed to be connected i don't know too much about cars like is this the reason that my fog lights don't work is this the reason that this doesn't work like things like that if i'm being honest it's pretty annoying but i'm not gonna beat myself up over it even this like i definitely want that to be here like i mentioned i'm most likely gonna swap out the entire dash like i said i have one inside that i haven't even opened yet but I just I'm not crazy about it right it looks cheesy I don't like this the reason this is like this is because this is the cluster from a TRXX the reason that I have this motor and transmission and everything and doesn't fit with the L200 this right here right so it doesn't fit with this and to me if it's gonna be my favorite K I'm not gonna have some janky stuff looking like this so that's something we got to swap out right away the seat is something I'm not really too focused on back here we got to lube this up so it definitely slides easier we got to figure out a way also to I don't know I, I guess cut this in half I think David brought that up that'd be a good idea like maybe just I don't know I really don't know honestly I, I, this is really just my first impressions I don't mind keeping this so I don't mind keeping this but at the same time I'm not even sure if I want this honestly as far as this like this whole display because I want mine to open up like David's that's my goal I don't know if I should have them cut this side I don't know if I should have them cut this side I gotta really find someone that even does that if you're watching this video and that's your profession definitely hit me up i would love for one of my subscribers or one of my followers to do it but i would love for this to open the same way davis the same exact way kind of like a food truck where i can sell merch or i can sell flowers or hot chocolate or whatever the case may be so i want that to be the case and if that's the case then i guess i would have to have the seat here hoping that all the equipment and everything is still there for me to bolt that right on i think i'm definitely gonna try to get an exhaust this thing is way too quiet i want to somehow fix this not sure exactly what the cause of that is i'm not sure if i could even lift this up yeah i can't because that's there i need to figure out all this wiring um i have no radio i have no speakers so i need to figure out a way to wire everything in shout out to a total they actually send us a free radio and a backup camera so sponsored video coming soon i told you guys i was going to be working with them because i put a totals on essentially all my cars if we work our way to this side this door slides nice and freely so we like that up here looks like there's a little maybe a small dent there but doesn't look too bad i'm definitely going to drop it off to teggy at some point and get it nice and pretty but yeah, we got to figure out this mirror. Me and David weren't able to clip it on. Not sure why. This, I'm not even sure what this is. Must go to the car. This I'm definitely not going to put back on just because it's an eyesore and it's white. All these wires, like I said, I don't even know what all this stuff does. My AC isn't working and I got it fully serviced, so I have to look into that. Maybe they forgot to connect it. My fog lights also don't work. So again, something to look into. And I know I have a TRXX engine, but I think I have one of the newer models because this is a four cylinder, not a three cylinder. So there's that. And then again, my throttle cable, something else to look into. Because of that, honestly, I don't even feel comfortable driving the car. I don't want to drive and it snap off again. That wouldn't be very good. Really want to look into all these wires. I don't know what they go to. I don't even know what this yellow one is going all the way around to this. I don't know. It's a swap car. So again, everything's not going to be perfect. My headlights work. My wipers don't work. My fog lights don't work. So there's definitely some imperfections. There's definitely some videos to be made. But at the end of the day, the reason I bought this car was for this right here. My old that had to mirror was way too slow for me to take really long road trips. I wanted something that was turbo. I wanted something that was five speed, but that's even rarer. So the fact that this one's a four speed, I already feel the difference. The fact that it's fuel injected, I already feel the difference. I think we just need to put some TLC, like really any car. I know I paid a lot of money for this one. I kind of wanted it to be turnkey and perfect, but realistically, no car that's 25 years old and from Japan is going to be turnkey and perfect. So it is what it is. We got some videos to make. We got some exciting things to do. We got a cappuccino to potentially trade. So we'll be working on a van and a Hatsumira walkthrough. We really got to figure out a seat. 
I got to put the wheels on. Let me go inside and I'll show you some of the parts that I have for this car that I'm going to be installing very soon. So stay tuned for the build. This is the Hatsu Mirror 2. This is K car number maybe 17 or 18. I guess the one that's already stateside because I got five of them in Japan, but I won't count those yet. But yeah, I'm excited. At the end of the day, comment below. How do you guys feel about it? How do you feel about these tail lights? Like even stuff like this, hopefully Teggy, I don't even know how he can work his magic, honestly, but like, I don't know, little things like that. I think because I'm holding it at such a high standard because I want it to be my Forever K, it's like, what is that? That looks cheesy. I don't like it. So first couple things we're gonna do on the build. This is a strut bar. I want the car to be a little sportier. Like I mentioned, I have a steering wheel. We have underglow. These are the wheels I'm gonna put on the Hatsu Mira. I also bought this HKS blow valve. So let's just test this out now before we end the video, but this is gonna go on there. And then in this room, as you can see, there's a lot of other little subtle things. Those are the adapters. That's a rear view mirror that I'm gonna add on there. I got a couple different intakes from Japan. I would love for one of them to work, most likely won't. Maybe we'll add an ETC reader at some point. And then we'll definitely be making some shirts and throwing the blue mirror walkthrough on here. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be plug and play. The engine's hot, so I'm not gonna go too crazy, but this is the before. It's a takeoff cheap, like Timu ball valve. It's not gonna do anything. with the old damn it's too big the air box is in the way that isn't even connected look at this why is it moving so much so i know it doesn't look the cutest but we have vacuum line and then this connected here let's see if me being a hoarder pays off all we're looking for is some actual whoops that's why we gotta get an intake as well. I let it warm up a little. Let it get some air. We got my new belt, my new tiny belt and everything. Gotta get that compressor and everything working. I don't know what's going on, but let's see. Moment of truth. Actually, let's put the camera on me. Let's get my live reaction. I'm not driving though, so. It doesn't sound like my cap, you know? I want it to like whoop. But it's not all the way in, honestly. Neither is this one. And I'm also not driving. I'm not really building up boost. But for now, I'm gonna put the stock one back on. I'm gonna end this video here. Let's get this one out ASAP. And then stay tuned. Stay tuned for the next bunch of videos. We gotta put the rims on. We gotta change the bolt valve. We gotta buy an intake. We gotta put a boost gauge. We gotta put the strub bar. We gotta put a bunch of stuff. We gotta make this car better. We have to make this the Forever K. We gotta make this ready to go. We gotta drop it off the techie. We gotta make it nice and pretty. We gotta fix the fog lights. We gotta fix the wipers. I don't know why that's not working. We gotta swap over the steering wheel. We gotta do a lot of things. We gotta wrap it. We gotta put WBT up there. We gotta cut it. We gotta put a window. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Roll to 100K. Remember the name. This is for the fame.